The way of the righteous is the way of the Lord. And a person who is living right has certain characteristics that define their life. And these are certain characteristics that we really want to obtain. We want to achieve these characteristics. And when a person's living godly, they'll acquire them. Let's go over a few of them. One, number one, it produces gladness. It produces gladness. Proverbs 10, 28, The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. You know, if you choose the right way, you'll never be more glad. When you do what you should be doing, and you're living a godly life, you have gladness. And that's what this is. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. Secondly, it produces boldness. Not just gladness, but boldness. In Proverbs 28.1, it says that the wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous are bold as a lion. Now, boldness and, and confidence is the disposition of a righteous person. You see, the wicked, the wicked are always looking over their shoulder, aren't they? They're always wondering if somebody's got them. But you know what? It says that the, that the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous are bold. They're not concerned with every little thing because they've got nothing to hide. So not only does it produce boldness, three, it produces life while you're living. It produces life while you're living. In Proverbs 12, 28, it says, In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. This is life in general, that this is just uh, not just a physical life. Uh, I, I've heard people say at times that I'm living, I'm alive, but I have no life. Do you know what I'm talking about? They just seem to be just going along, just going through the motions. And, and I think that the person, this person who is righteous, it produces a life worth living. Fourth, it produces joy for your journey. It produces joy for your journey. In Psalm uh, 16, verse 11, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Not just joy. Can I say this this morning? Not just joy, but fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Billy Sunday said once, he said, If you have no joy, there's a leak in your Christianity somewhere. God's purpose, one of his purposes, is not only to get the glory for himself, but for you to live a life that's full of joy. Nobody wants to live a life that has no joy. Nobody, none of us want to live a life where we just always need something else to fill the void. We want joy for our journey. 